what's happening in spiritual tests is like like what is what is happening what god is testing what what god is looking for is he is testing your your uh, uh your steadiness in your faith of him of his character when things are shaken when this testing is coming do you still believe firmly that he is good different narratives of the enemy are coming because of the situation speaking that he maybe isn't as good as you think it can be it can be harder to feel his love for you the blessings don't seem as present or vivid in these in the seasons of testing many times so will you be solid in your faith of his character that he is good that he loves you that he is for you that he is nothing but good that he's not a god who teases withholds um in in like an evil way or something um that he doesn't neglect but that he is so good and he is so full of love every single day and his thoughts for you and his actions towards you are so good every single day every single second of every day and full of so much love that when things are hard and when you're going through a test do you still know that he is good and do you know do you remember that he is so good that he brings you through tests that he allows you to go through hard things because he loves you because that's how he's going to be able to lift you because that's how he's going to be able to refine you and make you more like him and that's how he's going to be answering your prayers to be more like him to receive blessings to receive anointing to fulfill your purpose can you see that truth in the valley of the shadow of death in this testing time can you still see that and believe it and not be shaken in that god is testing your your faith in his character in the area of his faithfulness when there are tests like tests of your patience when so much time has passed and god has made promises and you really thought these promises were going to come to pass by now and the way that these promises came forth whether they were in dreams visions impressions in your heart and by the holy spirit or prophecies you really you really interpreted it that these promises were going to come way sooner than they did like god spoke it's coming soon or now or this year like do you do you still believe that god is faithful and that he hasn't forgotten you he hasn't forgotten about these promises that that these promises are still right on time when time has passed that passed when you thought the promises were going to come to pass in these places of stagnancy in these places where you feel like you're going backwards in these places where days pass months pass years pass and the prom you've been believing in the promise and expecting it like every day for years is your faith still solid the faith that in the character of god that he is faithful that his faithfulness has not changed are you humble to realize you know what just because the promises didn't come to pass when i thought they were going to come when i thought i heard god say it doesn't mean that god lied doesn't mean that god is teasing me doesn't mean that god's forgotten doesn't mean that god's not faithful but instead god is the sovereign one not me maybe i interpreted it wrong maybe god allowed me to think this promise was was going to come sooner than it did as a testing of me a test 
a test in my surrender, a test that I would still believe he is good and faithful, a test in my humility when it comes to hearing the voice of God. I thought God spoke that it was going to happen sooner. Well, maybe I was the one that was wrong thinking that, interpreting the timeline. Will you be humble and put your, your, put your, your, your faith in God's faithfulness above your feelings, above pride of hearing God's voice? God's testing your faith in his character that he, of his sovereignty. Like when you cannot see a way out, when you don't, when things seem so impossible. Will you still believe God is sovereign? God has the whole world in his hands. God can change this in a second. God can move this mountain. Will your faith be strong there? Or instead, will you be giving up? Will your, will your thoughts be so much on how this is impossible, of how you don't see this, how this will work, on feeling like God's forgotten about you? God's looking at your faith in his character of his sovereignty. And he's also testing your surrender to him. He's testing to see if you will obey him no matter the cost when the tests come. And he wants to see if you really love God, love him, if you truly love him or you just say you love him. Do you really mean that I love you, you say? Do you really love him with everything that's within you above everything? all else do you love god above yourself do you love god above any desire this has to be tested god wants to see if you will put him and his people before yourself before your feelings and when you are in pain, when you're going through something hard, a testing, that's when it's the most difficult to be selfless, to put God first, to put people first. So that's why it's a, it's such an important, it's such an important test. Like that's why we have to go through testing of going through hard things things, going through pain, enduring things sometimes, because this is where the truth comes out. Even truth, even for us to see and see what we need to work on and God to refine us even more so that our love for him can grow even more after we have obeyed him in this hard thing of choosing to love him above everything else. Then change comes after that. Uh, more of the glory of God and more, more refining to be even more like him that happens in you when you do those hard things.